Hi, my name's Lori, and I'm going to read a book to you today called Gorilla Thumps and Bear Hugs, a Tapping Solution children's story by Alex Ortner and illustrations by Aaron Mariano. One day during recess, Lucas noticed that his friend Annabelle looked very sad. When he asked her what was wrong, she said, I was drawing a picture of myself as a scientist, and two kids teased me. They told me the picture was silly and that I was crazy for wanting to be a scientist. But I think science is so much fun. I want to be an astronomer so I can learn about fun stuff like the billions of stars in space. Or maybe a zoologist studying all the different kinds of animals in the world, where they live and what they do. Or a doctor learning all about the amazing things in our bodies, like our eyes that see, our ears that hear, our lungs that breathe, and our hearts that beat. But kids are always teasing me for liking science. Maybe I'm foolish for wanting to be a scientist. Maybe I'm not even smart enough. Maybe that's why I'm so sad. Annabelle said with a sigh. <sighs> I'm sorry you're sad. I know a secret trick that might help you feel better, Lucas said. A few weeks ago, I was really sad because I tripped and fell playing soccer. It hurt, and I didn't want to play anymore because I looked silly in front of my friends. So I just quit. When my brother Malachi saw how sad I was, he taught me something called the magical tapping technique, and it made me feel much better. Want to learn about it? Sure, Annabelle said. He started by telling me that we all have magical points on our bodies where we can touch our energy, Lucas said, and that by tapping on these points while saying magic words or special words, we can change how we feel. He has really fun ways to remember each of the points. We always start the tapping with the karate chop point, Malachi said as he tapped on the outside of his hand. With this point, I like to think about doing a karate chop or breaking a board. The next is the eyebrow point, he said. I call this the hairy eyebrow point. When I tap here, I pretend that I have eyebrows so big that birds can land on them and sing songs to make me feel better. Then there's the side of the eye point, which I call the super eagle eye point. When I tap here, I pretend I have super eagle eyes that let me look at things in a different way. Next is the under eye point. I call this lion cry point. This helps me remember that even if you're as strong as a lion, it's still okay to cry and let bad feelings out. A lot of times, crying makes you feel better. Then there's the under the nose point, the dragon fire point. When I tap here, I pretend I'm a dragon, setting fire to my bad feelings as I breathe them out of my nose. <sighs> I can feel the bad feelings leaving through the hot fire on my hands as I tap. Next is the chin point. I call this the wolf's chin point because when I tap here, I think about a wolf howling away the bad feelings. Then there's the collarbone point, which I think of as the gorilla thump point. When I tap here, it's like I'm a big proud gorilla beating my chest. Next are the underarm points. I call this the bear hug point because when I tap here, I think about giving myself lots of love with a big bear hug. 
and the last one is the top of the head point. I call this the monkey point. When I tap on this point, I like to pretend I'm a monkey. Sometimes I even make monkey sounds. Ooh, 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 ooh. Malachi showed me how to tap on each of these special points on my body with my fingers while saying special words, Lucas said. At first, I felt kind of silly and I even giggled, thinking about the funny names for each point. But once I started doing it, I didn't mind because it made me feel so much better. It sounds like it could help, but what are the special words, Annabelle asked. They're actually called special tapping phrases, said Lucas. You say them when you're tapping on the special energy points. Basically, you just say out loud how you're feeling, and this helps the feelings change. Can we try it, said Annabelle. Sure, just repeat after me and tap where I tap, answered Lucas. So first, tap on the karate chop point and say, Even though I feel sad because some kids teased me about my pictures, I love myself anyway. Annabelle did just what he said. Keep tapping and say these two times. Even though I feel sad because some kids teased me, I'm a good kid anyway. Annabelle repeated what Lucas said twice. Great, said Lucas. Now let's go to the hairy eyebrow point and say, I feel sad because the kids teased me. Lucas and Annabelle continued to tap on each point, saying the special tapping phrases. Soon Annabelle got the hang of it and started tapping on her own. When Annabelle finished tapping through all the points, Lucas told her to take a deep breath in and then out. How do you feel? he asked. Wow, I feel a lot better, she said. This is magic. Wow, and you know what? I had a great idea when we were tapping. Annabelle got up and said, I have to go ask the teacher about my idea. After recess, the teacher asked all the kids to draw pictures of what they wanted to be when they grew up. They all had different ideas, like being a police officer or a teacher or a firefighter or an artist or an astronaut or a professional soccer player. Of course, Annabelle drew herself as a scientist. When they were done, each kid got to share his or her picture with the class and tell why they chose that job. Everyone had an amazing time, and Annabelle was no longer alone. The next day, Annabelle came up to Lucas and said, Thank you for showing me the magical tapping technique. It made me feel so much better and even helped me to have the idea for us all to draw our dreams. You're welcome, Lucas said. I'm glad you like it. Malachi and I are starting a tapping club to teach other kids how to tap. Do you want to help? I'd love to, Annabelle said with a big grin. The end.